Hi, welcome to Pixel Affair. My name is Kobe, and in this video, we are going to talk about how I created this. So this is an ident I did for CTTV at one anniversary and I use basic cinema 4D primitives and deformers to create this. So let me get right into the project. So I'll pause it here and come down. So this is the project open and you can see it's just a normal cloner, a simple scene, normal cloner and in it we have a null object which has a extrude and a twist deformer. Simple. So I can actually show you how I created this in like some few seconds. So I just created a circle, which I made it like extruded it, um, give it a depth of 0.1 because I don't necessarily need the depth and added a um, twist deformer, put the two in a null object. So now just went ahead and start twisting, but there's no enough segments. So I'll select the extrude and come to angles and choose quads to give it enough segment if you should see how it looks like. So this is before and now after. So now it gives it enough segment so that we can deform it properly. So yeah, I basically did this, made the twist bigger. Then I'll draw it into a cloner object, make it a child of the cloner and turn it to radial. We don't want any radius, like want it to be zero. And maybe I think it was six or eight or something, yeah basically and you change the plane into x z and that's it instantly i have the thing created so what i did was i animated the heading so of the cloner object and that's all i i actually did so let me i can go ahead and set a keyframe here and probably come here and set another keyframe or and that's basically what I did and the textures. So I, I used the extruded object because I wanted to have the back and the front cap. So let me go ahead and bring in like this, um, images and see, you. um, I see I'll go ahead and hit, um, copy, which is control C you come here and I'll do the same paste. See yes to the two and I'll throw them onto the extrude object. I hit C1 for this and I'll say C2 for that. So now play, you can see what one thing what's happening is no, so if we are not seeing the other picture and because the reason is because, um, I think because I did it, um, let's see six, it's an even number. So I think they are sitting on the same place. So it's covering. So if I should make it five um five you can see now we have seen it so it means like there was like two sit two circles were sitting on the same plane so like you're sort of covering the other part that's why so if i should make it six you wouldn't see seven you would see eight you wouldn't see so even numbers will make two planes be on the same at the same place that's how come it wasn't so basically that's all i i did so let me go back to the scene in so and it's as simple as that so the next thing was to animate the camera and the camera is just a simple zoom in and zoom out with a bit of um, tilt and all that so if I should get out of the camera um, zoom out let me rotate it around and let's see if you can see the camera or hide it yeah so here we have the camera and you can see it's all he's doing is just zooming out right in fact, let me get it out of the null object for us to see what's happening first. So the camera itself, all it's doing is just zooming out, it's coming and zooming out. It's as simple as that, nothing serious. And the next thing is the null object, which is this. If I should select it, you can see what the, the null object is rotating. So while the camera is zooming out, the null object is rotating it. So if I should put it in back back into the null object, which I've named camera. You can see it's rotating the camera whilst it's zooming out. And the, the clone object is also rotating as well. So it gives it 
a bit more movement so that's all i did with the scene and the other the rest the circle so this one was rendered separately and i have i did it um, separately with all the other images so each each scene had like two images the next one will have two different images with this one and i rendered the sphere like the glass sphere also se separately so this one scene so here i have another scene and this is the scene where it reveals the one and the logo in full colors and this one too was a separate scene but they all they all use um the same camera movement so i basically copied the camera yeah so there's the camera same thing and they all use one movement and this one too was a separate scene so this one has full colors and i used i think null object too but unfortunately i don't have the textures here so if i render it to look very ugly so if i should bring the original video so this part this was separate scene the one with the colors and everything was separate scene and you can see in here the one with the glass and the glass fill and everything was also separate and now the pictures or the images too were also separate so that's basically all i did so i rendered them uh, separately and later join them in after effects so let's go into after effects and see how the project looks like i might not have some of the textures and um, images in all the footages in here but let's see how i can break that one down as well so now i'm in after effect and this is how the the, the scene looks like so you can see we have different different footages and these are the images i rendered separately so if i double click on this one i can actually open it show you so you can see this one has two separate uh, different images i actually double click on another one let me double click on this one and you can see this one to have two different images so it's about one two three about different of them and i fit them in and out so you can see whilst it starts from somewhere and begins to fade off as it comes in fade it comes on and fade off so that's what I've, i did for all of them so it comes on and it goes off so eventually we get to the last one that one to fade off so we get to you can see if i come down i, I think i can find the glass so this is the render i did with only just the glass so this one doesn't have the full color so it's just the glass on its own and i think um let me see if i can find the other one um some of the textures are missing so yeah this is another one so this is the render with um you know the numbers so the full color and everything so it fits they all fade into eventually so this will be the final frame and the text too is a separate layer I limited down to separately and if i should come to the project itself so i'll go back to the composition i the blend mode i used different blend modes for each of them because of the color and everything so some i used overlay so this one i use overlay the next one i think i use hard light and um, overlay soft soft light and depending on the color of the whole thing and how it feels when you add it to um the object so i use different blend modes to make a blend so i use overlay and all those things so you can play around with that to see what you basically i think that's all for the whole thing i mean nothing exceptional so basically that's how the whole thing looks like i just rendered them separately and I mean nothing fancy apart from that just a normal um background which it's not it's easy to create and i added some particles and partic using particular and stuff like that and that's how i basically created the scene and i ended up with um this one i hope you enjoyed it and probably giving you ideas on something enjoy and see you in the next one